Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to edit your audio using Camtasia 2020. So you know that Camtasia is, is a very powerful software for creating online training video, especially for those of you who want to create software tutorial like me, uh, like what I'm doing here on YouTube. If you want to try this software for 30 days, uh, go ahead to the link I put in the description below to try it. Or if you want to buy it, you can get my 10% 10, uh, 10 discount coupon code to save your money. Okay, so let's go to the software. I will show you how to edit your audio using Camtasia. Okay, so here I am inside Camtasia. So the first thing I want to mention is about the audio track. Normally, uh, normally other video editor will separate the video track and audio track, but in Camtasia, you have all the tracks are the same. So you have audio track is the same with a video track. So just uh, if you want to to add an audio track to the timeline, uh, like like here, you just right click at the beginning of the track and then you just click on Insert Track and you select above or below okay so now everything is clear let's drag and drop a music file onto the timeline so let's start with the music to show you some basic tools uh, to edit your audio in Camtasia right um, go to my library library and the, here's the, my favorite music to of us uh, this is a free music let's drag and drop it onto the timeline uh, like this okay so when you have an audio track on the timeline, if you want to control the audio level, you need to select the audio track here and then uh, you see here there's a line here, a green line. You can adjust the, the audio level uh, by this line. You can drag it up to increase the volume and drag it down to reduce the volume. Uh, so it is easy, right? And another option, you can select the, uh, the music file here and then you go to the property uh, panel here and adjust again. Adjust again, also reduce the audio also. As you can uh, see here, as you can see here, this is again and you can adjust it and you look at the audio waveform here on the timeline, right? And now let's extend the timeline. Okay, so uh, in Camtasia, if you want to cut or trim your audio, you do the same with the video. For example, if I want to, uh, to cut the audio at this position, all I need to do is to select this one. This is the cut or split, split the audio. You can, uh, you can press uh, S on your keyboard or you can hit this button. And now you can move around the audio. Yeah, move, move it to anywhere you want on the timeline. So that is how to split the audio. And the next thing you want to do is to trim the audio. If you want to shorten the audio, you just uh, left click uh, at the edge of the audio track and then you just drag it to the left to shorten the, the audio or drag it to the right to extend it. Uh, this is a trimming function. Okay, so let's delete this one. Or if you want to undo a, a split in Camtasia, just do the same, just trim it out. So drag the edge and trim it out or you can also press undo button here okay so that is how to split and trim your audio how about audio keyframe so in order to add audio keyframe in Camtasia all you need to do is to find the position you want to add audio keyframe and then you just double click here at, at this line to add an audio keyframe or in Camtasia in Camtasia it's called audio point this is the first keyframe and to add another keyframe just move your playhead to the next position and then you can double click on this line to add another keyframe now you can adjust the volume for example you can uh, reduce the volume of your music by drag the, the keyframe down or drag it up to increase the volume so that is the first way to add keyframe, uh, audio keyframe in Camtasia. Another way, you can uh, move your playhead to this position and then you can right click, right click at the audio track and you can have the, uh, the option here, add audio point. So that is the same, audio point or audio keyframe. Okay, select here and then uh, go to here and then right click and add audio point and then you can adjust the keyframe, right? It is easy, right? So, and also you can uh, also delete this keyframe by right click and delete, or you can uh, remove all the keyframe uh, on the timeline by right click 
and remove all audio points in Camtasia. That's nice, right? So how about audio effect? So audio effect in Camtasia are also very basic, but they are useful. Uh, the first, uh, first one, if you want to add fade in and fade out to your audio, okay? So select this one on the timeline and then go to the audio effect here. So we have the audio fade in and audio fade out here. If you want to put it in your favorite, uh, then you can click this star button, all right? Uh, to add audio fade in, you just uh, drag it and drop it on the audio track uh, for example my music file here and the next thing you have the audio point here and then you can drag it to the uh, to the right to extend the audio fade in effect or drag it to the uh, the left to adjust it uh, nice right let's play it that's nice and you do the same with the audio fade out so just drag and drop it uh, to the music file and then adjust the audio point that is very easy right so that is the audio fade in and audio fade out so there are two more things here at the audio effect uh, the first one is the audio compression and the second uh, second one is the noise removal so this this one the audio compression work the same way with audio normalizer and this one the noise removal is very useful especially for those of you who record your voiceover in a noisy envi environment okay to show you an example let's record a voiceover of me talking uh, in front of the camera okay so let's delete the music file here and start a new voiceover to start a voice to start a voiceover in Camtasia you go to voice narration and now I'm going to just to record a short a short tutorial okay a, a short audio uh, start voiceover hello this is a test and this is a, my voiceover in Camtasia I'm using Camtasia voice narration to record my voiceover sometimes I speak um, too loud or sometimes I, I speak uh, softer uh, because the, the microphone the distance of the microphone is important okay so let's see how Camtasia can deal with this problem all right so now let's stop the stop the video uh, stop the recording okay so it uh, will allow you to save your screen uh, your audio recording let's click save because i don't want to fight it so here is my narration so this is uh, let's listen to it uh, start voiceover hello this is a test and this is a, my voiceover in camtasia i'm using camtasia voice narration to record my voiceover sometimes i speak uh, too loud or sometimes i, I speak uh, softer uh, so it, as you can see when I record my voice over my voice is sometimes is very high and sometimes very low but we can use audio compression so it works the same work the same with audio normalizer so that there, there's another another uh, point in Camtasia where you can find audio uh, normalizer here at the project setting so you go to project setting here so you can uh, ad enable this option auto normalized loudness so it will automatically um, uh, normalize your audio uh, but now I, I I just uncheck it and to show you the audio compression okay so let's click cancel uh, go back to the audio effect and now we need to drag the audio compression to here so that it will balance the lower uh, lower lower part and the high part of my audio okay so just click it and drag and drop it directly to your your voiceover track on the timeline so as you can see here, you just normalize the audio. Is it? Uh, let listen to it again. Hello, this is a test, and this is a, my voiceover in Camtasia. I'm using Camtasia voice narration to record my voiceover. Sometimes I speak um, too loud, or sometimes I, I speak uh, softer, uh, because the, the that's nice, right? So that is technically how the audio compression works. And remember, when you uh, run and drop it onto the timeline, you have the option to control it uh, on the at the property pane here. For example, you can uh, select vo volume variation from medium, high or low, or maybe custom. If you select custom, then you can uh, adjust the ratio, press hold, and again. Okay, so that is about the, the audio compression. And the next thing is about the noise removal. If you have 
uh, noisy environment, then you definitely uh, should use this one. Just drag and drop it directly to the audio track here, and then control the parameter right at the property panel here. But uh, it also it depends on your environment. So I'm not go uh, I'm not going to talk more about this option. All right. So that is all about all about editing audio in Camtasia. I think it is very simple because all these features are very basic. You don't have more. You don't have more audio effect here. Uh, the last option is the, the clip speed. Uh, we work similar to uh, adjusting uh, video speed in Camtasia. And you can speed up the audio and slow down the uh, the speed of the audio. But that's, uh, I, I don't think it's, uh, it's worth to mention in this video, okay? So that's all you need to know how to edit your audio using Camtasia 2020. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.